I'm Esty and today we're gonna make simple granola. I call it simple granola because it's the little black dress of granolas. You can dress this up and add whatever you want. You can add nuts and coconut seeds, dried fruit, really can go crazy with this, but this is the basic recipe, and I like this version the best because my kids actually eat it. They're a little bit picky. They wouldn't eat one with nuts, and they can take it to school because it's school friendly. Their schools are not free, and this doesn't cause any problems. We're gonna start with eight cups of old-fashioned oats, not the quick cooking kind. You want the old-fashioned rolled oats, eight cups of that right in there. And now if you're gonna add nuts, um, just subtract the amount of oats for whatever amount of nuts. So if you're gonna add half a cup of pecans, just take out half a cup of the oats and just add in whatever you want and do it each time. You can add chocolate chips, whatever you want. Um, but we're gonna go with eight cups of oats and then we add half a cup of oil, half a cup of pure maple syrup, not pancake syrup, the pure maple syrup, one third of a cup of dark brown sugar, and just a pinch of salt. Now we add a pinch of salt because salt actually, it doesn't add a salty element, but salt enhances flavors and elevates flavors and it just gives that extra bit of something that we need in here. That's why you'll see it in most baked goods. You don't have a salty end product, but it's necessary for the rest of the flavors to come together. Now you just mix this until it's all evenly distributed and the oats are all coated in this sweet sticky syrup. And now we pour this into a parchment lined baking sheet. And using your rubber spatula, pack it all down. And that'll give you those like big chunks after it's done baking. Or if you don't like the big chunks, you could break them up into smaller pieces, but this gives you the option. And that's really pretty much it. Then we pop it into the oven and we've got amazing homemade granola. All right, that looks really good. And now we bake it in an oven preheated at 325 degrees for 40 minutes, but we rotate the pan halfway through. So if you're setting a timer, set a timer for 20, rotate, and then another 20. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. You know how they say that you should bake chocolate chip cookies when you're looking to sell your house. You should make this when you're looking to sell your house. The maple is incredible. Once it cools, it'll be nice and crisp and you see these big chunks and there are some small ones, then you go ahead and you fill your jar so everyone can take whenever they want to. And you have these big pieces, you break them up into whatever size you want. And look how much this makes. And then when you're at the end, just lift it all and pour it right in there. And wait for everyone to run into your kitchen because this goes real quick. You can find more easy recipes just like this one on kosher.com.